Shadows are a simple but powerful way to make your games look much more professional. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I'm going to be working with this as a template. As of right now, there are no shadows, but I will show you the step-by-step -step process as to how to add them. Now, you will need the Universal Render Pipeline installed and uh, ready. You will have also need to have implemented it into the graphics settings and the project settings. Um, but once you have that done, you should have lights working. I've already started here with some lights. I've got a global light and in the scene that starts when I play it, uh, there's also some point lights like this one, for example. If you already have all this set up, it's very easy to add shadows. If you want to add shadows to an object, all you have to do is go to the object and give it the shadow caster 2D component. These default settings are fine for now. I'm gonna put them on all of my objects. Okay, we've added the shadow caster 2D component. Now let's hit play and see how that looks like. So everything here looks kind of weird. I mean, you've got some shadows working. For example, the player works really well, but you've got these really weird self-intersecting shadows. And uh, it took me a while originally to find out why that is, because it's not something you can just change on the Shadowcaster 2D component here. It turns out what you have to do is go to a parent object or just make one for all the objects you want to be homogenous, I guess, and give it the Composite Shadow Caster 2D. Now this doesn't have any settings on it. Uh, it's empty, but what it does, you can already see it's working perfectly. What it does is it treats all the objects as one object which will cast shadows. If you want something that goes, uh, that still casts shadows like normal, uh, for example, let's say we want to do that with a player here, you can just drag it outside of that parent object and now it will cast shadows all the way through. There are some settings for the lights. For example, uh, you'll probably want your point lights or just all your lights in general to have the shadow intensity set to one. This makes sure that the light actually sets shadows and doesn't just go through the object. Now you may want some of this if you, for example, want to light up the player, which I have going on here. There's a light inside the player, uh, but that's up to you how exactly you want to do that. But yeah, that was today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you really liked it, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.